Reggie Miller, Ray Allen, Clay Thompson, and Steph Curry. Do you know what they have in common? You will say they are all great three-point shooters. But the answer I'm looking for is they are the top four all-time off-screen shooters in the history of the game. For us, this facet of the game, is a very important one teaching-wise, so today, for our game enhancement series, we'll take a look at three situational shooting exercises we've practiced, where we've simulated some aspects that can occur during the game. Let's take a look. Stay close. Welcome to our channel, we are Mihai Dumitrescu, IPT Certified Skill Enhancement Trainer, Highest Level Professional Team Coach, and Peter Perich First Tier International Professional Player in Croatia, Germany, and Slovakia. The first two exercises have the same setup, how we'll find out in the following minutes. We've placed a cone near the baseline, for a long two-point shot, and the other one at the three-point line on the wing. We constantly move our cones, and it should be up to your imagination where to place them. In the beginning, we've simulated the end of a shallow cut, or any other movement where the player goes backward, ready to receive and shot as quickly as possible. This drill adds a lot of pressure on the shooter, as he has to coordinate the footwork, keep the balance, and still be able to take the shot rapidly. Then moving from cone to cone at various distances will make it even harder. Add the scoring system that challenges you the most, and be sure to tailor it in a way that pushes your limits. Our goal was to make 21 in a row, but this depends on everyone's level. Secondly, we chose a jump over the cone, simulating a catch on a lateral move, or a bad pass that you want to catch by moving towards the ball, to keep the advantage alive. This shot can be very difficult, as you need good reaction time, and the ability to find balance after the pickup. When you will consistently make shots of this type, any team will have an interest in you, as there are not too many players able to engage this way. We've used the same scoring system as before, but as I've said how you do it, it's totally up to you, just keep in mind to be challenging enough, and constantly reevaluate it from time to time. In our last drill, Pero starts always under the basket. His initial position captures a moment in time when a player cuts straight to the basket, and from where he uses a screen or simply cuts towards a pointed direction. For this one, you will need a partner or a coach, which needs to make a pass to you, but also, he will indicate where the next shot should be taken from. After each shot player rebounds and passes it back to the coach. The coach can also pass under the basket, simulating a quick assist, and for which the player has to look with a reverse finish facing the passer. Depending on the execution speed, this exercise could act as a conditioner also, and gradually will add fatigue, so the player will make the shot harder and harder. That is why, this should be set as a goal, as the best shooters rarely miss at the end of the game when they are physically exhausted. We suggest constantly adding more speed every time you'll use it because shooters have a tiny window of time to reach the ball and score, as a lot of defensive energy will be directed to them. We've done it until Pero hit 21 makes, and any miss under the basket we counted as a minus one. You can do how we've done, or you can choose your scoring system, depending on your actual level. For us, the ultimate goal will be to make 50 in a row, with 3 points scored by swishes. Maybe we will get there tomorrow or in 5 years. Nobody knows. But what we know is that we keep going, trying today to be better than we've been yesterday. And this should be your focus too. Hope you've liked our approach, and maybe you want to give us a thumb up. Also, you can check these game enhancement videos too, like any other video on our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and to set all notifications on, so you'll not lose anything in the future.